we're talking about Star Wars. Welcome to a spot of nerd here. He is not here yet, but we have the perfect uh, view, I think, finally. Welcome to episode 50 something. <laughs> we are so glad to have you here today with us. <laughs> we have notes that we can't read. Welcome to episode 59, spot of nerd here. <laughs> what she said. Welcome everybody. The saga has concluded. <laughs> Tears. Today, we're going to be reviewing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Oh, warning. We might spoil this, so don't watch this. Don't if watch you this if you it, haven't seen the new Star Wars. Let your comments in after you see it and let us know what you think. Bingo. This That's is, true. That's this very, is very the true. impact that this movie left on him for him to want to go write a full page of notes for you. For Star Wars fans, it has been quite some time. It's been a few years now where Disney has just taken a big fat shit okay, let's on be this careful. Page. Let's be careful. <laughs> if you enjoyed The Last Jedi, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> This is fiction. You can have your opinions. I will destroy them. Us, but I'm just saying, The Last <laughs> Jedi, the best way I put it with The Rise of Skywalker, The Last Jedi compared to the other two, The Force Awakens and The Rise of Skywalker, it's like your uncle that just got out of prison and he's on parole because he touched a minor. It's kind of awkward because he shouldn't really be there. The reason I'm so in love with this film, J.J. Abrams, thank you for giving us the Star Wars we deserve. What were your thoughts like going into it? What are the thoughts that are written down? <laughs> the critics, the reviewers, everybody, yeah. it's hit and miss right now. There are people that are yeah. loving this film and there are people that are hating this film. Mm -hmm. The haters think that maybe J.J. played it safe, went way too much on the let's let's appease the, the Star Wars fans. There's a lot of Easter eggs in the film. There's a lot of tie-ins to the old films. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot of hope. Oh yeah, hope. This whole franchise is based off of hope. All I'm saying is, the more people are seeing it, the more they're starting to see that yes, Star Wars is back. We found out who Rey was, which actually blew me away. You caught on to it apparently. Mm -hmm. Rey's a fucking Palpatine. Okay. How did I miss that? Okay, if you haven't- How did I miss that? And I should have known it earlier on. Early in the film, you find out. I mean, there's a like serious clue. Yeah. I plan on seeing The Rise of Skywalker several times in theaters because mm -hmm. it really is just that good. You've got visually, stunning. It's humor where it needs to be. It was forced humor in Last Jedi. And this one, C-3PO, yeah. he just has these one-liners and just perfectly placed. It's fantastic. The Jedi are not lost. It's good versus evil. Zombie Palpatine is legitimately scary. The way they brought Palpatine back, this is Star Wars. People that were critiquing it online, like, oh my god, he's a clone. Like, did you ever see episode two, Attack of the Clones? It's in the title. It's Star Wars. <laughs> well, I, but I really love the Clone Wars. What was that in the middle? <laughs> I mean, the only thing I predicted, okay, this is what I predicted. What's Kylo it? Ren, eventually, oh, yeah. he goes back to the good side. I did not predict that. Beautiful way, Carrie Fisher died before the film came out. They couldn't, you know, they couldn't make any more footage with her, but they took footage from The Force Awakens and incorporated it into this film beautifully. Like it wasn't focused on her, but she had just enough parts that I thought it was fantastic. Obviously she dies in the film because she sacrifices herself for her son yeah. to get her son to realize I've screwed up. And the ending, I mean, again, we, we joke, but it's, the same. It was, it's such a great ending because Rey sacrifices herself to save everybody. I'm all Jedi. When you hear the voices, you hear Sam Jackson, you hear Hayden Christensen, you hear Ewan McGregor, you hear Yoda. Everybody's like, you're it, you're it, we're here, we're here. She destroys the Emperor, but she sacrifices herself. And I love that Kylo, now that he's on the good side, he still has his Force abilities and he brings her back to life. And that's his ultimate sacrifice. So that way, Leia and him can be one with the Force. So they both dissipate, just like Yoda did in Return of the Jedi. Loved it! What do you think? Similar points. I think that J.J. Abrams did what he could with what he had. Totally transparent, there was some cheesiness. There were certain elements where I was like, mm, that's cheesy. But when I got to thinking about it after the movie, actually, Valerie, he did what he could really pretty well with the shitstorm that he had. Yeah. The movie leaves you feeling really good. The actual messages, and I think I told you this, that it comes from a place of dealing with your own demons. And I love that because this is 
so much present in our world right now. If you're an old Star Wars fan that loved the initial like I did, I grew up with the trilogy, right? This brings you back to that. My only issue with this film is it was, there's a lot of material in a very short amount of time. JJ had to work with a steamy pile of crap. <laughs> if he would have had the middle film and this film, he could have probably developed the story oh, so much better. Uh, yeah. And he was able to literally- Like twist it. Twist everything back to where it should be, yeah. regardless of rehashing, regardless of using older films, yada okay. yada. But he gave us the story we deserve. You find out again, Rey is the hero, not the just random character tossed in there. You find out about the Skywalkers, you find out about Palpatine, you find out about the dark side and the Sith, the rebellion at the end where all the rebellion ships come and help save, you know, the galaxy. That's what Star Wars is. It's hope. And rebellions, quote unquote, are built on hope. You love this though! I do, because it's just, you know, I've bashed Disney specifically for Last Jedi, I've bashed Disney specifically for Solo, A Star Wars Story, because what J.J. did, minus maybe a little thing here and there, he stuck to the movie. There is no political bullshit. It's just a good story. There is no yeah. PC, like, I need to cater to this group, There's or no I need agenda. to cater to that like, group. no secret, like... No, I'm building a story right. based off of the entire Star Wars saga. You You've gone through some shit in your life and Star Wars actually has really like the story Saved me. Yeah. And, and kind of like that agenda of hope has really kind of helped pull you through some hard times. Absolutely. I've got Ray tattooed to my forearm. So this ties That's to that. Out. And so if you're a Star Wars fan and that is what ignites your soul, you will benefit from seeing this movie. Yes. Right? I think that she should have owned her name. I think at the very end and I love, I get what, I get Literally what they did. Literally the best way that you could end this, this saga, this franchise. You think it was the Minus best. the name, but like the way they did it. Yeah. They go back to Tatooine, Force Ghost Luke and Force Ghost Leia. Rey is there and it's just like, you see the two sons and then the credits. And I was like, perfect. Yeah. I just think she should have, because the whole messaging is in regards to owning who you are. Carrie Fisher, even like her voice or whatever at one point says, don't be afraid of who you are. I get what they did with the end. They were wrapping it all up in a bow. So I understand. But at the same time, you could have still own the name and said, you know what? I'm going to turn this around. Like, I am the Jedi to own that, that is my name Ray and I Palpatine. own that. No. You're a Palpatine. So make it awesome. Before we wrap this video up, what was your favorite part? They're like lightsaber to lightsaber, basically. He says, I am all Sith. I am, Sith. I am yeah. all Sith. So she get the second lightsaber comes to her hand and she has two lightsabers at that point and she says, and I am all Jedi. Oh, that gave me chills. chills. Because it was just like, boom. You know what? I've got all the good power behind me. I am sacrificing who I am for the cause. Yeah. For me, there's so many good things about this film that I really enjoyed. There was a scene in the film where you see younger Luke and younger Leia fighting each other with lightsabers. Mm -hmm. It was a 30 second clip, but it explains in that scenario where that was the moment Leia was like, I'm not gonna be a Jedi because I can see I had a vision of my son turned into the dark side. So that's why we know Leia has her abilities, but why she doesn't use them like Luke does or any other Jedi. But then at the end, you see these Death Stars being destroyed and then we're going back to Endor. So we get the Ewoks for 30 seconds. We see Cloud City for a few seconds. It's stuff like that that I love. You've got Lando and I know Lando is in it for just so brief, but you're bringing these classic characters back. Even Harrison Ford makes a cameo in this film. But I do, I would say, if I have to pick one, I do like the lightsaber battle between Rey and Kylo Ren when really? they're on the old Death Star. You could see the power both of them have, but you could see that Kylo was still stronger. Rey is just, she's exhausted and she's just pounding the lightsaber between the two and Kylo's just like, get off. You can see they're exhausted. They're both exhausted and it, it wasn't until Leia was like, I need to sacrifice myself so that Rey has a stupid, like has a chance against Kylo. But that also is what brings another one of the reasons why I like that, that scene so much is because it shows just how powerful Rey is because she brings Kylo back to life. Right. And if you're watching The Mandalorian, spoiler alert, Baby Yoda has that ability too. So it's oh. again, Oh God! All these people that are bashing online like, oh, the Force, we've never seen these abilities. The Force is awesome. It does amazing things like bring people back to life. These are of new abilities. Of course you have the abilities. These have nothing to do with rehashing also, the old trilogy. Also, she's a fucking Palpatine. Yeah. She is weak in that fight because she is struggling with her own anger, which goes against everything that you are as a Jedi. So if you think about her power, the reason that she was weaker than he was was because she was acting on her ego and her anger. True. And you can see it on her face, which is why this fight was so awesome. When you're angry, it doesn't bring you power. Yeah. You, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars 
quote unquote, the saga is complete. What is your final thought about encompassing everything together? Nine films. I go back to the trilogy. That's how I was raised. Like Luke Skywalker was going to be my husband. I'm sorry. When I was like five, oh, eight later. years old. I love you. He's... Uh, anyway. You watch the Christmas special? To me, at least they did a good job of bringing it back to what me as a true like old fashioned Star Wars yeah. fan wanted. And like you said, those messages are so powerful in this movie. If you're like a Star Wars fan, you grew up with that trilogy. Mm -hmm. That was what you loved. You should probably love this film yep. because they come back to those roots. It's one of those films you want to go back and rewatch. Yep. And there's so much good that you can take out of it. There's so much personal messaging that you can take out of it. My final thought <laughs> on the Star Wars saga. Star Wars has been around for 40 years. There's numerous films. There's TV shows. There's more stuff to come. And especially now with Disney taking the reins, what it comes down to is Star Wars is a lot of people's love. It's their life. It's their hope. And it's their dream. And I think it takes us back to the joy and the happiness that Star Wars has given us from day one. It doesn't matter kind of like you were saying. It doesn't matter if you're two months old, if you're 80 years old. This is something that everybody can get behind. And I was afraid because with The Last Jedi and Solo, it's as if they were purposely trying to split us. So thank you to JJ and thank you to everybody else who literally made this movie possible. Go ahead and hate it if you want to, but you cannot deny the fact that he was able to wrap this saga and this film up in the way that it should have been done. Could you build off of this film? Absolutely. You could take this film and go so many different directions. I don't think they will. I think they'll start something fresh, but let's hope that we stick to the story. So thank you, Star Wars. Lucasfilm, George Lucas, thank you. I agree. With that all being said, thank you all so much for watching. Go and watch Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Do not hesitate. You are going to love this film. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe! We're going to have one more episode. Luna Moss! Of 2019. It's going to be the best and worst. You've seen them before where I rank the top three movies of the year and the worst three movies of the year. Hold on to your panties. Hold on to your butch. But again, thank you so much for watching everybody. We got so much coming in 2020. Cannot wait. Woo! We will see you guys later. Bye! Bye! This morning I wanted a frap, and they wouldn't make it. Every time I come here you're buying a frap. It's not important to get a frap. But it makes me happy. Mm, big fat deal. Seriously, there must be something that makes you happy. Not really. A pickle? Mm-mm. The -mm. zoo? Never. A sassy vagrant? Six kittens in a bag of water? Uh, Poop on a stick? That's disgusting. Are you serious? Mm, you're so freaking weird. I like monkeys.